Welcome back to Shaving with Pegleg. I appreciate you all stopping by. All my subscribers, new, old, future, past, whatever. Appreciate everybody showing up. And if you're not a subscriber, please hit that button. It's free. Doesn't cost you anything. <clears throat> I'm cheap that way. All right. Head shave today. Using the... Uh, Blue Shave Club Razor. If you go to blueshaveclub.com, this razor with one head, it might be two heads, but it's $5. And the cartridges for it are four for $7. But it's on a timer. I think you got 45 minutes from the time you get on the site to buy it. And after that, they're four for twelve dollars, which is three dollars a cartridge. <clears throat> I don't know if they're shipping or what, but proceeds, some of the proceeds from every sale go to law enforcement um, organizations. Um, like for officers killed in the line of duty, for their kids to get scholarships for families to pay off their homes, stuff like that. They give to those types of organizations for law enforcement. So, good cause, good group, and these are good shavers too. I used it once before and it was a good shave. So, let's get on with it again. Noxema with cocoa butter. Let's start with the pearl. The pears. I always say pearl. Pear soap. Encompass and don't squeeze because it'll squirt out of your hand and go across the room. You end up chasing it and having a clean soap off your floor. So just encompass it so it can't go anywhere. I could shave with this right now, just like that. I could shave because it's a glycerin based soap. But you, I've done videos where I've shaved with that before. I'm using my Simpson Trafalgar T3 um, 30 millimeter synthetic, and we'll just Put some right in the middle of the knot. Yeah, it opened up. So we'll have to uh, see about that. And we'll just do this. It's almost... It's a lemony scent to me. It's got a little bit of lemon in it. Um, let me see what I can come up with if I can read anything on here. Ingredients. really can't read them because my eyes are so bad. I'm not seeing any lemon in it. But I'm getting almost a lemon scent off of it. Almost a lemon scent. It's not bad. I'm gonna go back to front with the green. I'm gonna do your standard three directions for the passes. This razor's 
got a good handle, good grip, good, actually has good, I'm not pressing it off, I'm just putting it on my head and pulling it across, like I would a DE, just letting the weight of the razor do its work, even though this thing's light as hell, I'm just letting the razor do its work, I'm not pressing. I'm just holding it to my skin, that's all I'm doing. I can feel it cutting. I can feel it removing hairs. Got a decent pivot to it. It's not as much the Harry's or a leaf, but it's, it's got decent pivot, at least 45 degrees. So it's got a good pivot. You can really feel it taking hairs off. You remember what I looked like before I put soap on my head? See my head now? It's, it's taken quite a bit of that off. It is an efficient razor. If you head shave, there's nothing wrong with getting a good cartridge razor for head shave. Face shave, I prefer a DE because these you have to press in to get them to cut well. And that's when you always end up with ingrown hairs and irritation and nicks and everything. I mean, I cut myself with a DE all the time. You guys have seen that. This, is, this should be the bloody peg leg show. but. That's more me than the razor most times. Except for one that I can think of right off my head that was recent, that red one. My jag shaving. Oof. That's that sucker saw my skin was an all you can eat buffet. Yes, very good razor for a cartridge. It's not bad at all. It's like the Harry's in Dollar Shave. They're not bad carts either. The Q Shave either. The ones that I was the most disappointed in for cartridge were the Gillette and the Schick. Now they weren't horrible. But I think when you start getting into the club razors, you start getting a better quality blade combination.
like I said, the Schick and the Gillette that I used, they're not horrible. It's just, I think, Harry's, the Dollar Shave, this, the Q Shave, are better. Beers again. Good slickness, lathers well. I could use this for a face shave if I wanted to, but I tried to save my creams. For head shaves. All right, front to back is against the grain. See, I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'm just dragging it, just laying it on my skin and dragging it back. I'm not putting any pressure on it. If I'm going to put pressure on it, it's going to be when I do my pickups in my problem areas. That's, that's when I'll put pressure on it. Right through here, it's, it's going to be where I'm going to have to put pressure on it. And I'm not going to put a ton on, just a little bit. Because, like I said before, the blades on a cartridge head are recessed. So, what's dragging on your skin more than anything at first is these little edges where the blades go under on the on the cap on the head those those are what's hitting your skin first I'm trying to pull my skin tight on the back of my head and this stuff's slick, so my hand's just sliding forward. Oh. Okay, I gotta put that back on me. I had my fan aimed that way to keep my head from the lather from my on my head from drying out. It's getting too hot in here. I gotta turn the AC up. My power bill's gonna be between 280 and 300 this month. I've had, to, I've had the AC on all month. And Duke Energy has raised the cost of their energy because the cost of fuel oil has gone up, so they pass that on to us. And it doesn't matter that they're making billions of dollars a year off their customers. They can't eat a little bit of that. No, they got to charge us for it. It's kind of like when they charged us to build a nuclear power plant in Central Florida, or South Central Florida, and then decided something happened and they decided they weren't going to build it and they were going to tear everything down and they wanted to charge us to tear it down and the Florida legislature stepped in and said no, you can't do that you can't charge people to put it up and then charge them to tear it down because you changed your mind no, you eat that cost well, they've been digging it to us in other ways since then with their costs for energy surcharges, everything it's like 
all their little fees. Anytime that they can stick it in you dry, they will. You don't even get courtesy of a kiss, dinner, or a reach around. Bend over, here it comes. Fucking thieves. Excuse my French. I hated Duke Energy when they were, I hated them when they were Florida Power. When they were Florida Energy. When they were, they were something else too in there. But I've, I've hated them since I've had them. They, they're just horrible. For one, in the original area I originally lived in, um, two drops of water fell out of the sky. You lost power for two or three hours. And it's like, really? Why don't you get rid of some of the 1960s transistors you're using and update it to modern day equipment? Maybe we won't lose power every time two drops of water fall. Swear to God, every time we got two drops of water out of the sky, we lose power for two or three hours. Every flipping time. It was no joke. It was like, you you wanted rain, it would cool everything off until after it rained, then it got twice as hot. But you wanted rain to cool it off, grass needed white rain, water table needed rain, but you didn't want rain because you were going to be without AC for two hours. Okay, we're going to press a little bit here. Not a lot. I'm not pressing a lot. I'll show you on my fat face. See, it was flat. I was pressing about like that. So not a lot, just a little bit. Yeah, I, I have hated that company for decades. And there's, and it's one of those deals where they got you by the cojones because you got nowhere else to go. And they figured out a way. I was checking into getting solar. They figured out a way. You know how usually if you overmake solar that it gets back put back into the lines and you get reimbursed on it? You always gonna have a power bill of at least $35 a month from them. That's minimum, guaranteed. Just for having their service, you're gonna pay minimum $35 a month to have power. You will always have a power bill. No matter if you make more like a more solar power than you need to run your house you will always have to pay them $35 a month, plus service fees and everything. So it's actually about $46 a month, something like that. You will always have to pay them, always. But they figured out a way that if you're on solar and you're putting power back into the grid for them to use for other people, they figured out a way to charge you to transmit that power across their power lines and how much you were, based on how much power you were putting across their lines is what yeah, they charged you. They get, there was a, there's a rate for that. That's, that's the kind of thieves they are. You, you can't get away from them. So if you're gonna put power back into our system so we can use it at other places and not have to strain our, our power production that much, we're going to charge you for it. You never, ever get a kickback from them. You will always have to pay $35 a month to have their service. You will always have to pay the fees and everything else, which is like another $11 a month on top of your bill. And if you have solar and you're putting power back into their grid, you will get charged for running power through their lines. I'm getting started on this. I gotta calm down because it really, really does aggravate the piss out of me. I'm not gonna spend 30 grand, 25 to 30 grand to put solar in my house for those bastards to charge me to give them electricity that they can charge somebody else for. And that's the other thing. They charge you to put it through their power lines to transmit it someplace else. Then they charge that person that it goes to for the power, even though they didn't even generate it. Fucking 
thieves. Yeah, tell me about it. All right, rinse the head. Get the soap off. Get the, the stickiness off. I'm good. I got just the faintest of stubble right through here and through here. Just the faintest. In a, in a half hour or so, when my skin relaxes, that will all pull back in and I'll be good. That will be cube bump. Allen block, just to make sure. Absolutely nothing. It's cold and wet. Absolutely nothing. Cold and wet. That's all it is, cold and wet. They're not the only thieves. The people that own the park that I'm in, they're freaking thieves too. Every year our, our rent, lot rent has gone up $25 since I've been here for four years. So it's gone up 100 bucks since I first moved in here. This year it's going up 45 Taxes haven't gone up, nothing's changed. We pay for our own water, we have water meters. We get billed for our water on our lot rent check, uh, statement. We, get, we pay for the trash pickup. The only thing they supply is the lawn maintenance, which, big freaking deal. But anyways, there's no reason for it to go up. Taxes have not in this area have not gone up. They haven't gone up. Last time I, I checked last year, they hadn't gone up in six years from last year. And I have not seen anything that said that they've gone up this year. So that would be seven years the taxes in this area have not gone up. But yet they keep charging us more and more and more. So many people in this community are selling because they're just, the lot rent's gotten so ridiculous. And this, these lawyers, of course, they're lawyers, douchebags, that own this place. You know, the firm of Howie Fleesome and, what is it? Dewey Fleesome and How? Dewey Fleesome and How, yeah. Hope you get that, Joe. All right. Which hazel? Using the rose one this time, just try and balance out my jar, my bottles. Da -da 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 -da. For aftershave, we're gonna use some cat litter. This is leather scented. I'll have the notes in the description. I'll put the notes of this in the description. But yes, I got my new spray tops in. See the, the nozzles on them now. Oops. I have not used them yet, and there's a there's a stopper on it. I'll pause, I'll be right back. I gotta get this thing off. Okay, I'm back. It's like I never left, right? It's, I don't know if you can see this. See this tab thing here? I thought it was a stopper to keep it from depressing. You had to break it off. It's not, it's a lock. You push it, this, you push the right side, if it's facing away from you, the right side all the way forward, you can't, you can't pull that. You pull it back and you can. So that's cool. I did not know that. I just figured it out playing with it. So I was trying to break the damn thing off because I thought it was just like a safety thing to keep it from spraying when it was in transit, jostled around, you know, just to lock it in place. But it's not. It's just it's a lock. Okay, I'm gonna aim the fan back that way again. Okay, I just did my face when I shaved my damn head because I'm a dumbass. That's a nice scent. All right, we're gonna spread this around. 
pick it up in my hand. Use my Johnson & Johnson baby lotion on my head. Pick up that scent that was in my hands after I did my... And then we'll just rub it all around the head. There we go. Yeah. All right, baby. Yeah, that feels good. Guys, if you do not shave your head, if you ever start to, you will enjoy the hell out of it. There's nothing, absolutely nothing, like that massage you get when you take a brush and you massage that soap into your scalp. I cut it short. I could do that for hours on end, but my videos would be too long, okay? I'm serious. That's a great feeling. If you've got somebody that runs their fingers through your hair now and you like it, or they massage your scalp and you like it, you will love it when you get to the point where you put a brush on your head and you're just massaging that soap into your scalp and getting those hairs and follicles all roughed up with soap. It is an amazing feeling. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, more relaxing than a head shave. It's absolutely fantastic getting that stubble off your head massaging that soap into your skull it's fab tastic yes it's a fantastic two words combined one another word that Google will say doesn't exist but screw Google screw Google again that's another company right anyways all right guys blue shave club Washington State they donate to law enforcement agencies if that means anything to you pro, pro, some of the proceeds go to law enforcement agencies um, I don't think four cartridge heads twelve dollars I don't think is bad at all and there's five blades in each cartridge head yeah it's five blades we don't need five blades two's fine but whatever but they're still not that bad it's a good shaver. The handle is well designed for grip. I like it. All right, highly recommended. If you're gonna use a cartridge on your head, Harry's, Dollar Club, Dollar Shave Club, Blue Shave Club, Q Shave, all very good razor heads, cartridge razor heads to use on your head. Stay away from the Schick and Gillette ones. Nothing wrong with them. They will shave your head. But I think the ones from the clubs give a better shave than the standard grocery store type. Just my opinion. And that's one of the reasons I only bought two of the grocery store type. Because I used the Schick and I was like, eh. I used the Gillette and I was like, eh. And I was going to get a couple more and I decided not to because... I found that the, these type, Harry's, Dollar Shave Club, this, Q-Shape, all shave so much better. And they're club style razors. All right. Maybe someday I'll get really fancy and buy one of those um, from the high-end makers that are a $110 handle and use a Gillette head. No, I won't. <laughs> I was lying. <laughs> Actually, I was joking, but no. Because you guys know me. I'm not spending $110 on a flipping handle for a cartridge. If I was gonna spend $110, it would be on a full razor, but DE, but I'm not even gonna do that. All right, guys, I appreciate it. 16 ounces, $18 on eBay. They also have doggy style and monkey's ass. And who doesn't wanna start their day off with a spitz of monkey's ass on their face? I do. I like it. Oh, I didn't, I haven't used this one yet. I used the monkey's ass. It lasted, the scent of this lasted for six hours. I can still smell it at six hours. They say these are alcohol free, paraffin free, and something else free. Anyways, it's, D as in dog, B as in boy, A as in Adam. D B A Barber. It's on e eBay. D B A Barber. Monkey's ass. Cat litter and doggy style. 18, it's $18 for 16 ounces. Spray bottle. Gives a nice mist. 
lasts for at least six hours. All right, and they, this this is leather scent, leather and a couple. I'll have the scent notes in the description. And then there's monkey ass, which I did use that one time, and I put that in the description. And when I get doggy style in, I'll use that one. Anyways, all right, guys, I appreciate you all showing up. Don't forget my affiliate link. We're up to fifteen dollars and change. I'm hoping to put that over twenty-five at the beginning of the month when I place my order to um, Razor Company, and then I'll get a gift card out to you guys. Put it up for grabs okay just remember my affiliate link i put the money when it hits 25 i buy a gift card put it back to you guys it doesn't go in my pocket doesn't help me buy shit because i was going to buy shit anyways so I, i'm not asking for solicitation to buy shit to show you guys all right i do it to show my appreciation for you guys watching me show you shit okay got it in my hand still smells good all right this is almost eight minutes. i am got to go splice all this crap together and put it up. And I will see you guys on Tuesday for a face shave. Maybe I'll have a surprise for you on, on the face shave. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. I appreciate everybody stopping in. All my subs. All my, all my friends out there. So I talk to a lot of you guys in the comments. I appreciate all of you. Appreciate your comments. Keep me on the straight and narrow, which is kind of hard to do. And... Thank you all for showing up. I appreciate it. Enough of the babbling fat fool in the camera. You're in the chair next. Happy shaves out there, guys.